Hello everybody, it's Rachel and Maddie. It's Friday night and we're here to talk about our shower gel collection. This is kind of a spur of the moment video, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <clears throat> well, where do you want to start? Do you want to do uh, our bath and body work shower gel? Yeah, first? let's start with those. Because that's what we have the least of. Yeah, I guess. I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I actually, before I, I was into Lush, I was very much into Bath and Body Works. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, always like 100% stocked up on <clears throat> all kinds of lotions and hand sanitizers and shower gels. And it was pretty awesome, but I moved on to bigger and better things. <laughs> that being said, um, I actually do have a couple things from my old stash. It's probably gone bad by now. This is something I picked up in maybe like November. Oops. Whoops. It's called a <laughs> Sweet Cranberry Rose because I love sweet, I love cranberry, and I love roses. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's really good. I like it. Well, yeah, I actually, the only Bath and Body Works, I've actually never really shopped at Bath and Body Works. I've never really been in, into like them as a company. And it's not really like anything against them. It's just that like, I'm not really... Like, I, I've never really been, like, into bath products until just, like, probably, like, a year ago now. But anyways, I got this Twisted Peppermint, and, like, I did not think I would like the smell so much. I have the wax melts. I, like, bought a whole bunch of them, so I'd be stuck up throughout the year. And, yeah, and I honestly, I love using this with Intergalactic. And I can't wait to try it with Abominable later. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, we'll move on. I, I guess I'll I'll go ahead and you. I'll pick up this one because. Let's grab one. Uh, <laughs> one. We got so much stuff here, y'all. You're right. Do. You're right. So this is from the regular line, Tuesday and Coco. I'm sure everyone's pretty familiar with it. Um, it smells like orange chocolate. You know what's yeah, funny is that I'm actually not familiar with it. That's. Okay. <clears throat> I smell it. In the store sometimes. See, I get like coconutty. Like it is kind of coconutty. Oh, because Yuzu will love this. You, I know. I was gonna say. <laughs> I think I'm gonna read all the little things. But yeah. yeah. Yuzu will love this. I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> okay, well, um, gosh, I guess I'm gonna start off with my first ever Lush Kitchen shower shower gel. It's like a really liquidy consistency. This is Sonic Death Monkey, and it's also supposed to be kind of like an orangey chocolate and there's also like a coffee scent to it it's i really really love it it uh it wakes me up like it's one of the ones since because like you know people will say that like the citrusy scents will wake them up i've never really had that happen i guess just because like i've always really loved citrusy scents and like anyways yeah like i really <laughs> and this one says do you have soul yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, i have significantly less than rachel so at some point she's just gonna be naming all of her no own. no we're gonna be going because you've smelled all of them we're gonna go be going back and forth <clears throat> okay okay so i guess i'll just go with uh bubbly which is like one of my favorite scents at the moment it's just it's just pure orange to me i don't know it reminds me of orange jello because it's also like super like gelatinous well i also i really love bubbly like i i might have to buy that bigger bottle off of you yes i am selling a bigger bottle just because like i've gone through most of this bottle and while i do love it i am kind of just getting sick of it you know i don't want to burn myself out and then not want it next year so i do have the uh 250 milligram or milliliter Yes. Uh, yeah, the 250 milliliter <laughs> bottle, which is like the medium bottle, um, for sale for $25. You can DM us on Instagram about that, please. <laughs> um, well, okay, I guess since I started out with my first, I'm going to go all the way to the most recent shower gel I got, which is Demon in the Shower. And this is supposed to be an apple like a fruity mint sort of flavor and I really don't get like the fruitiness from it maybe that's just me I mean I like with certain sniffs like there's a little bit to it but I don't know I guess that's it just reminds me of of just like 
sweet mint gum. Yeah, there's, I really get the spearmint. That's what I get. Yeah, but. spearmint's kind of sweeter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my first Lush Kitchen <laughs> shower gel, uh, the Electro. It says je ne sais quoi, whatever <laughs> that means. <laughs> You know, I actually haven't even seen, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry to go back. <laughs> I love the Electro because like, it says that it's like, you know, it's supposed to have like a zing of grapefruit, but I really don't get a lot of the grapefruit. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going away. Um, I get a lot of the fennel, which reminds me of licorice, so I think I wouldn't like it, but I love the Electro. That's my wake me up shower gel. What does yeah. that say? Oh, demon in the shower, the little hidden message is come hell or high water. Whoa. Which is pretty straight on for me. I like it. <laughs> um, okay, so here, I'll do I'll wait for this one since that's <clears throat> I got a I really love the Carmen Scent family, and I actually, what I did is I got one for, like, one Karma shower gel for me, and one for my mom, because, like, whenever we, like, I first took her to the left <laughs> store, she really loved all of the, uh, Karma scented things, and I wanted to get all of them for her, but she's so, you know how my mom is, she's like, don't spend money on me, yeah. and, yeah, it's like, well, I want to spoil you, I'm gonna spend money on you, but, yeah, and I ended up getting one myself, this is actually... I don't know. I wouldn't say that it smells exactly like the bubble bar. There's, <coughs> there is like a very clear difference and I haven't smelled the shower jelly. So I don't know if there's a difference between this and the shower jelly and the bubble bar, but it does kind of have, I, I don't know. I think that the, the citrus is a little bit more present in this, but that might be just me. Everybody's nose is different. So okay. <laughs> is that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to talk about So White. I love So White. The, the bath bomb is amazing and it is beautiful and it is amazing. So when I was actually on a, a no spend ban and then I saw So White was coming out in the kitchen and I was like, mm, all right, well, other than that. I, honestly, lately, I have been fueling Maddie's Lush obsession because every time I order something, I get her. So I get her something. She throws something in for so me. So I'm just, yeah, I'm, I've always been a very giving person. I'm glad that I have somebody to share it with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and talk about Laura's Miss Rule. I really do love this shower cream. This is a shower cream. This isn't really a shower gel. Um, it's more moisturizing than a shower gel. I really haven't like compared. Maybe one day I will use it like on two separate arms. I don't know. <clears throat> but there's a, this is patchouli and black pepper. And I don't know about anybody else, but I love patchouli. Patchouli's always been one of my favorite scents. Definitely. And it's just a, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I'm just a, like a very earthy type of person that I've always loved patchouli. It's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about Rose Jam. It is delicious. It says, uh, we're jamming. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it just, it's obviously, you know, just like really sweet rose. Everyone knows what Rose Jam smells like. I think that's like everyone's favorite. <laughs> rose and lemon. Yeah. No, it's really great. I really do love Rose Jam. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, I guess... Almost done. Okay. Right. Well, I have my big old ball of Twilight, thanks to Maddie. Like, every time I went on to try and get a... I was trying to get a one, like, kilo, kilogram bottle of this. And every time I went on the website, it was sold out. It was really infuriating. We were having a similar problem with rollers recently, and we finally got some of those. But, yeah, so I just ended up... Like, one day I was like, you're gonna just have to get me the 500, like, gram bottle because I don't think I'm gonna get the bigger bottle. And then right after she ordered it, Literally she the next day. And it was there, so. I'm um, getting a phone call, but we're just gonna ignore that. We're just gonna ignore that for just one second because we've only got a few more <laughs> shower gels. 
But this is part of the Twilight family. It smells like Twilight. The lavender is a little bit more earthy than sweet, like in the bath bomb. That's the only difference that I've really noticed. And then uh, let's see, the last shower gel that I have to show, which, by the way, Rachel also had one of each of these, except for the Yuzu and Coco, Coco and the Bath and Body Works one. Why are you going <clears> to <throat> put me on blast like that, Maddie? I'm okay. just saying. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so the last thing I have to show is a Snow Fairy, which is sweet candy floss, of course. Um, I heard that a lot of people were disappointed with this year's Snow Fairy. I wish I would have smelled last year's because if it was better than this, like, that's really amazing. I, yeah, Because I love Snow Fairy. Um, I do, like everyone, have the problem where the, uh, the glitter kind of gets all stuck at the bottom. So I've actually been keeping it upside down. And now I've got glitter, uh, if you can even see it, I've got glitter all at the top. At the top so. <laughs> but I, there's more glitter whenever you squirt it out. If oh, yeah. matters to anybody. Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this is our last shower gel. Well, this is my last shower gel. Other than this one. Oh, you know what? That's right. Well, here, we'll both talk about that one. Okay. So this is Hot Toddy, and this is actually one that I really was on the fence about even getting. It is a, uh, I guess you call it like a spicy scent. There's clove, cinnamon, um, ginger, like it's very like spicy. Warm. <clears throat> and it actually, you know, I really didn't think I would like this. And initially when I opened it, there was kind of like a little bit of a medicine-y smell. But using it in the shower, I'm like as bubble bath. I love it. I really do. I've used, I, honestly, out of all of these, this is the one I've used the most of. So. Um, and then the last one we have is Prince Charming. And I just recently picked this one up in my big old Valentine's Day haul that I might do a video of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what do you think of it? Um, here, let me get a whiff of that. She got me a sample. I did. Because I was lurking. That's what best friends are for. Is it? Have you opened it yet? Okay. Yeah. It smells really good. I mean, I don't know if it's just the color. It does kind of remind me of Pepto Bismol, but just like in the weird way that Pepto Bismol is like really sweet. If anyone even knows what we're talking about, that might just be like. See, I'm. I don't know. I don't think that. I guess I never really got the idea like of Pepto Bismol until you said something, but yes, the color is similar. Um, I don't know though. Cause it's still fresh from like the grapefruit. I mean, I I like it. I, I was honestly kind of expecting. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought the pomegranate was gonna make it smell like magic wand. Mm. But See, I don't why really would I have thought that? Because magic wand didn't have vanilla or anything sweet in it. So. I don't get any. I'm sorry, I don't get any pomegranate. I know, like I read it. I really but don't. I don't either. I mean, I get the the grapefruit and I get the like vanilla. I mean, I still love it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, it it smells really great. Uh, I haven't <clears> used it in the shower yet. I know that this kind of stuff transforms like when lathered, so I'm excited. Yeah, to use that's it. another thing I was gonna say is that this, whenever you initially use it, there is it's very sweet, and then whenever you use it in the shower, there's like a like it becomes a very citrusy, and it kind of wakes you up. So it's pretty great. Nice. Well. Uh, that's our that's our shower gel haul um <laughs> if you liked that we can or i guess it wasn't a haul it was just more of a our collection. collection um if you liked that then uh we have bath bombs bubble bars bath melts rachel has a huge collection of bath melts that i personally think she should do a video on i love bath melts. weirdo keeps them in the freezer but whatever i mean i'm just scared it's been getting hot in it, our is bedroom, so. it is texas it is texas um, yeah, so if you have any ideas for any videos, um, we'd love to hear it. We've been racking our brains for some ideas, and we have a few. We have a few video ideas that we're going to be recording sometime soon. It's just hard 
because of our our work schedules right now yeah well i i was going to say that we you can dm us on instagram or you could comment on any of our pictures on any of our pictures you could comment on this video actually since we're speaking about it go ahead and like comment and subscribe you can follow us on instagram at basically domestic a domestic at the 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 basically a domestic <laughs> goddess we also have Twitter and Snapchat, which is Goddess, Goddess Friend. Friend. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think that we're... We have, we have an email, basically, Domestic Goddess at oh, uh, yeah, Gmail. Yes. See, we're both new to this. Yes. So. Just, just say <laughs> hi. We just want some friends. Yeah, that's really all we're doing this for is for friends. Yeah. We don't really want anything from anybody except for friendship. <laughs> Peace out. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching this, guys.